For a free Rukia service, message on this number. There's no catch. The scholar just wants to help people do self Rukia because of all the scams out there. The Indian Prime Minister Modi met with the Chinese Prime Minister to discuss trade, relations, and terrorism. I mean, they were probably sharing tips, seen as both of them are oppressing Uyghurs and Kashmiris in their millions. Kashmir, 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 day in and day out, Kashmir, Kashmir obsession, Kashmir paranoia, Kashmir craziness. Are bhul jao Kashmir, move on. Pani pile putter, abhi to khali shurvat hai. Anji. Smart agenda. Assalamu alaikum, guys, and welcome to another episode of Grilling. The Indian media on Smile to Jannah. So India had to overhype the meeting because China is a strong ally of Pakistan. Which is China's best friend Pakistan. They tried everything to make Pakistan jealous. So much so that little Anub has got his own little hashtag going. There have been enough moments in the Modi Ji meeting that is making Imran very, very nervous. I have a hashtag for it. Hashtag Park Home Alone. <laughs> Pakistanis, you are home alone, and we dedicate this hashtag to you. That's so funny. The last time I heard that, I laughed so hard I fell off my dinosaur. Before we proceed, the following clip is not suitable for people who are allergic to morons. Did the people of Pakistan get to see it, Aliha. Did you see it? Did you enjoy the live coverage of the event? I don't know why he sounds like someone who should not only be on a register. Aliha? But should be on the front cover of it. Did you see it? Don't allow him near kids. That's all I'm saying. Pakistanis and Indians alike hit back with their own hashtag. And little Anub, let's just say he wasn't too pleased. Those Indians who I am ashamed of calling fellow citizens, that the people of India detest you. Shameless, disloyal, treacherous, backstabbing, traitors. Traitors that you who merrily spread the ISI hashtag go back Modi. Seen as it's just a hashtag and little Anub is a bit of a drama queen, he had to hype it up a little bit, you know, add that drama. Unleashed a proxy war on Twitter, pushing the hashtag go back Modi. Whoa, that's going a bit far, mate. Yeah, a trending hashtag can't really be equated to killing people. Of course, Pakistanis would jump on the bandwagon to spread that hashtag. I mean, it's not really a surprise considering what's going on in Kashmir. Are, bhul jao, Kashmir. Move on. We have moved on. The world has moved on. Nobody gives a damn. Nobody gives a damn. Nobody gives a damn. Needless to say, the chimps at your research department couldn't even get that right. These are the confirmed Pakistani accounts tweeting, go back Modi. Confirmed Pakistani accounts. Confirmed Pakistani accounts. They look like crazed conspiracy theorists, which actually reminds me of a meme. Yep, that's the one. They were so desperate in trying to make it seem like this meeting was actually working that they ended up sounding like matchmakers who just set up their friends on a blind date. There is a kind of coconut uh, drinks break uh, that's taking place. It's what it is and they are actually now comfortable enough with each other. Mm. What makes them look so comfortable together? Look at how comfortable they are, how relaxed they are. And of course the exaggeration and amazing reporting continued Aliha? as they counted each and every handshake the entire country celebrated nine handshakes they constantly called it quality time a term used exclusively for loved ones if you know what i mean spent almost five hours of quality time and quality time that spent almost five hours of quality time this was quality time most of this was one to one did you see it? And counting each and every minute that both of them spent chewing their food. The discussions that took place over the meal actually stretched over 150 minutes, roughly two and a half hours, and this was well beyond. Now why are they going through so much effort? Because China is very close to Pakistan, the sworn enemies of India, but India does need to improve on its economy and doesn't really have much of a choice. It is important for Pakistanis to know what happens when people who are equals meet. 
people who are equals. Hang on a minute, China is making 50 billion dollars more from India than India is making from China. In economics, that's known as a trade deficit. When people who are equals meet, they meet like this. They meet with style. Style? Are we talking about the same meeting here? This is how your lot greeted him by putting photocopies of his face on your kids. Yeah, that's style, all right? It's not creepy at all. Maliha, did you see it? If you had any doubt as to whether this guy hates an entire country and its people, that's pretty much the definition of xenophobia. These following clips should leave no doubt. I'll speak to you slowly so you can comprehend I'm, it. I'm Sometimes to Pakistanis you have to speak slowly because, because they Pakistan. can't take all the information together at one time. You Despite the fact that you are a Pakistani which gives you a certain intellectual disadvantage. For you and me, I think it's very important guys in this day and age that we work on our analytical skills, our skills to analyze and of course learning logical fallacies, how to detect errors in logic. And you'll be surprised, we see it a lot, a lot in the media, by our politicians and even in our workplaces and in our homes. And the most important thing of all guys, be more conscious when it comes to your religion and practice your faith as that is the only thing which is effective and flawless in this time of confusion and immorality. Drop a comment to let me know which bit you found the most funny and let's face it if you didn't find anything funny <laughs> you're probably suffering from cold shoulder. Until next time guys, Asalaamu Alaikum.